<laughs> Hello. It's still the same day as the previous vlog, but I decided to do a little productivity mission, a short vlog to document the things that I'm doing. Uh, I have a lot of work to do for clients that I postponed until the deadline, uh, which was bad project planning, but uh, yeah, we'll get there. I know I have enough time to do everything I need to do. But in general, this vlog will be about productivity. This vlog will be about getting things done. This vlog will be uh, a short summary of the next four days while Iratse is gone. Vamos, come on, come on. Good job. And I just got back, I bought myself a little gift, a longboard, so that's really, really cool. So yeah, I wanted to buy a longboard for a while, and uh, now that's just gone, I'm like, I've got a lot of time on my hands, and when I'm not working, I wanna chill a little bit. I don't wanna go back to the habit of going in the sofa and learning, learning, learning. It's time to stop learning and start doing. So in the meantime, I try to kill my time by using the longboard a little bit. Now it's time to get started and uh, I'll take you on my productivity journey for today. So the first step in productivity is clean your surroundings. Make sure your space goes from this to this. And the reason why is that if that's organized and you have the discipline to do that, you have the discipline to follow through on everything in life in general. It starts with waking up and making your bed. It's one thing checked off your list and then once you get this momentum of checking things off being structured being disciplined being clean taking care of yourself uh, that's one step in the right direction second step is plan program schedule don't start without knowing the plan of what's the goal for today what am i trying to achieve which project will help me get the forest now I'm using a productivity planner and I'll talk about this more later, but I don't think this is the end stage. This is one phase. And we'll talk about that in depth later on. Step of tip number three. Tip number three is use a technique that will help you. And for me, this is the Pomodori technique. It means 25 minute sprints of absolute focus. Focus on one task, getting that task done and making sure I finish the within the 25 minutes and have a five minute break. And sometimes a task will take four Pomodoris or five Pomodoris. But if I break them up in subtasks, I might even get them to like one or two Pomodoris. This gets me in the habit of training and breaking down the things I have to do and helps me um, get things done and actually feel satisfied at the end of the day. Because if I make a list in the morning or at, the, uh, in, at night that I wanna get these 20 things done, it feels really overwhelming. So when I'm gonna start selecting and I say, okay, I want to get the best three things, like what are the three things that make the most difference to my day? I select those and then I ask myself again, from these three things, which is the one thing, if I could complete that, I will be super, super happy. Then go do that first and then move on to the next task and the next, next task. And soon I'll come up with more updates or more strategy productivity tips now i've got to get started otherwise i'm not even productive myself it's the end of the day worked super hard got more done than i expected including a three four hour phone call i mean two phone calls actually um really a lot of progress really a lot of nice things um you might not know it yet, but M Power UTV is something that's coming up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in the Netherlands or 
uh, nation or like worldwide but that's one thing we got done so back to productivity and i think we're at number four so number four is once you finish the day and you actually did all the tasks that you wanted to do or at least the most important thing the one thing that you needed to do that would make the biggest difference in your project in your company in your whatever once you finished off this and you're done for the day prepare the day for tomorrow before you start this way you know what to do when tomorrow when you're starting you can start directly so productivity number four is prepare your day in advance so now i am going to enjoy a little bit relax a little bit de-stress a little bit and uh yeah i'll see you for productivity tip number five <laughs>